express your creativity to the glory of God. Enjoy watching. Okay, hello everyone. It's Samantha. In this video, I just want to show the idea um, I have for this pen. I tried it out already and I have to honestly say that I'm going to go to Staples and get um, a pen like this. It's, how can I say, it's not writing the way that I would like it to write. It's still color coding and that's what I wanted it for. Instead of using a different pen each time, like these three different colors, I thought, wait a minute, this would be more convenient if I want to switch the color. If I want blue, I switch to blue. If I want pink, I switch to pink. If I want green, I'll switch to green instead of going back and forth between pens. So that's why I um, bought this pen. Now, like I said, I'm going to go to Staples, God willing, and get me one um, like this, but the good one. Because this one is, first of all, is not that sturdy, right? And when I feel like I'm going to break it in the springs inside, you see how they're bending? I don't like that. That doesn't feel sturdy enough for me. Um, it feels kind of rickety. And I don't like how light it writes. The pen is not gliding across the page. I mean, you can still see the different colors. You see that? Green. I think this is purple. This is orange. And this is like the turquoise color. Right, so I just want to show the difference. Like right here, um, I'm going to use this page. This is Psalm 8 that I was writing. Um, about taking notes on rather. So I think that was this green right here. So, um, oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name on all the earth. I'm going to write. Um, so I'm going to underline it again so you can see it. Right, but then watch when I use this pen here. You can see it's just darker and it writes a little bit smoother. Blue right here, right? Then there's orange. This is how the orange writes. Let me model that. You can see it, but I'm going to go ahead. See, and you gotta, yeah. Um, you made him ruler over the works of your hands. You put everything under his feet, all flocks and her herds and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea and all that swim the paths of the seas. I'm going to write amen here, but you're going to see it's very, very light. It's very light. Look at that. I'm sorry that it's shaking. Right? But it's still, it's still right. It's just that. It's like I said, it's just not as vibrant as I would like it. And it feels rickety. Um, when I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, the son of man that you care for him, you made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honor honor i wrote god who works god who does and work wonders still considers humans he doesn't dismiss us i'm gonna put hallelujah here but you see and it's not let me write off on here okay you see that so let me put hallelujah yeah see no 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 now if i use this one this is a pen I got from the Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. Two. Maybe it's something. Oh, okay. Here we go. Hallelujah. Right? So. and But that's more like a. This is more. Oh, this is purple. Let me see the pink right, right here. That's this, this fuchsia like pink. Let's see how it writes in comparison to. To the one from yeah it doesn't glide on it's it, it writes harsh and i don't like that so 
I'm, I, like I said, I want to get one from Staples. If I don't even go, maybe I can even order it off of Amazon. But I think I'll be by Staples this weekend. But yeah, so that's what this that's what I wanted to use it for. And it's just it's just convenient. Now, um, there are several Bible study methods out there, out here that um hold on. So there are several Bible study methods that use um a color coding system for highlighting and underlining. So um I had one for this the inductive study bible and they actually um give you some advice in the beginning of this bible on how to do that like if you want to highlight god's promises um a particular color and then oh um his attributes another color um instruction another color um it's very helpful so you can track your note taking and keep track of you know um what you're studying so I'm actually, like I said, I had one for this Bible, but I misplaced it. So I'm going to make another one. I'm not going to do that now, but um, I think when I get the pen, I'll do it. Now, let me see. I have these two, three other items. So I'm going to use them right now. Let's see what it looks like. Psalm 23. Let's go there. Let me make sure this is in frame. Okay. So I already started writing something here previously, um, some time ago. So these are the double-sided highlighter pens from the Dollar Tree. Seven tenths millimeters. And it's black tip. It's black. The ink is black. But as you can see, the highlighters are are different colors so yellow a purple and a blue so I want to see how this works so I'll use Psalm 23 for that okay so this is the highlighter this is convenient too so you can flip back and forth with your pen and your highlighter you know um oh but the caps are not that secure okay so all right I don't kind of like that I mean, I can't say that it's bad. It just doesn't work for me. But for someone that may struggle with like arthritis or something in their hand or whatever, this might just be convenient because it's not on too tight where they have to tug. So just because it doesn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for someone else. So anyway, let me see um, how the highlighter works. The Lord is my shepherd. Make sure I'm in frame. Oh no. Uh uh. I don't know if this because this is old. Let me see how this works. He restored my soul. Let me underline this. Okay, so. I wonder why is it doing that? Like. Hold on one second. That's weird. I hope it's not the paper. Let me try another Bible. Hold on. Because I find that really weird that it's right in here, but not here. And that happened also with these two pens. So, wait a minute. Let me see something here. Um, Hold on. Let me put this in here. Okay, let's look. Psalm 138. Let me see. I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. Oh, that's something I've been um, studying, too. Scriptures on the heart. I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. So, let's see. Uh-oh. I think it's something with... Wow. Okay. Well, as far as the ink is concerned, let me see. I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. Oh. I will sing your praise. Let's see. Let me put a heart here. Right, it's writing easy. It's something to do with the pages. I can't use, it has to be a really good pen. Let me see if about, well, the highlighter, oh, the highlighter is working a little bit better on this. So let me see this color right here. I will bow down towards your holy temple. 
and I will and I will praise your name for your love and your faithfulness. And I'm gonna write praise the Lord here. But still, yeah, it's skipping. So I won't be buying these anymore. It's still skipping. I don't I don't like that. Okay, let me write here. Yep, so you know, I mean yeah, I wouldn't recommend those. Then again, I don't know if it's because it's been been a while. Like you just don't know. Let me see. I will I will bow down towards your holy temple. Let me try to highlight that. Ooh, look at that. I think this yellow might be a little bit um what is it? It could be dried out. But it did highlight a little bit. It highlighted better on here than it on than it did on um this page. For your love and faithfulness. Let's try. But I highlighted for I think I'm gonna throw that one out, that yellow one. Okay, for you have exalted above all things your name and your word. So let's underline this. Where's that um scratch paper that I had? It's right here. One second. Oh, you for you. And then it could have been, well, I didn't have this like standing up anyway. For you have exalted above all things your name and your word. So let me highlight this. That yellow highlighter did look kind of dried out though. Look. I don't know if you can see that. But it did. But you know what? It looks like it's flowing now. Maybe. I don't know. Let me see something. For you. Ooh, that is nice. That is nice. Okay, you see that? Look at that. That's good. Um, where's the top to this? And you know what? I think this one, yeah, this one might be just a, a problem. Because look, you see this? It's like it could easily come off. Maybe some air got in there and dried some of this out. Because look at this. This is on pretty snug. Yeah, something something went wrong with this one. Yeah, it's dry. It's it's like it's dried out, and then the cap is not snug at all. I think some air must have got inside of it. So that's that with that. Hold on one second. Let me see this right here. Hold on. And so let me see. He restores my soul. I'm gonna. Oops. Right, so I'll go back and forth like that. Let me see. He was, he makes me lie down in green pastures. Okay, it's writing better now. All right, let me see. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. Okay, let me try this one. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. He restores my soul. He guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Okay. All right. So, they're not that bad. The highlighters are pretty good with the exception. And so, I think, like I said, I think this is a defect. So, I'm glad I tried the other two because the the highlighter is pretty vibrant. The pen itself does not write. Um, it doesn't glide across the page. It's like, yeah, you know, if you're looking for that feeling from like um, a big pen or Ink Joy or even Pilot, no, that's not. It's it doesn't work like that. So these are these. Fruit scented gel pens, ink pens. So um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write over here in the margin with these. Let me see how they work. 
So the Lord is my shepherd. I shall, he makes me lie down in green pasture, pastures. I'm going to put, um, hold on. I guess, you know, you got to always start it off by scratching it off. You know, what you, I don't even know what you call that. Like, you know, just scribbling, right? Um, on a scratch piece of paper and get the ink flowing. Okay. So he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. So I'm going to put the Lord calms me. This is right. Nice. Calms me. Quiets my soul. Hmm. He gives me rest. So, wow, I like the way this writes. That writes nicely. It's, it looks wet, though. Okay, he restores my soul. I'm going to put the Lord makes... Some. The Lord makes me whole. Mm. Wow. He restores my soul. I am healed. Not splintered. Wow. That's good. That's nice. And they supposed to be, did I say they fruit scented? Yeah, they do smell fruity. Okay. I, I forgot that part. Yes, it does smell fruity. He guides me in the path of righteousness for his name state, name's sake. Um, scratch it off a bit. Okay. The, ooh, that's nice. The Lord, but it's not really red. It's this color. Right? Pink. Neon pink. He got me the Lord, orders my steps. And his will, plan, and purpose for me. Um... He guides me in the path of righteousness. His righteousness. And holiness. His righteousness and holiness is the path for me. He does this for uh -uh, for his glory. So that's that. There's so much more to write here. I'll probably do it. Even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Okay, so here are now these pens. So, you know what? Since I don't have to go back and forth, I'm going to move this one out the way and just concentrate on this right here. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. So, that these are the Afterglows Multicolored Ink Gel Pens. Maybe I should sh show this for another video. Um... No, this is four, five, and six. So, four, five, six. So, I'll use it. Um, What I'll do is I'll use that to write with on the side. And then I'll use these for... Oh, what is this? Afterglow multicolored ink gel pens. Okay. Oh, it's multicolored ink. I thought it was just these were the colors. Okay, 
So, um, I'll unlock verse 4 with this, 5 with another one, 6 with another one, and then I'll probably use one of them over here to write. So, even though, okay, I'm after, where's that scratch paper? I left it in here. Yep. So, it's right here. Gotta get it going. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, no, no, no. No, nope, I'm not going to write on that. I'm not going to write in that. This looks like, this what, This is probably for some black paper. I have some black paper somewhere, but I can't get that right now. Let me see this right here. Yeah, I don't, mm -mm. I mean, it's pretty. Let me see. I didn't like the way that orange, even though I walked through the valley of the shadow of death. Oh, no, I don't. No. Let me try this one. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Yeah, I will use this on some black paper. No. Let me try this green one. Maybe I'll do something with the, with the, um, on black paper. I have to pull it out this weekend and do some lettering with this. That's an idea to try. But um, the Roddy Estafford Company. Let me just take this one over and go in there and see if I fit. Um, yeah, that's like just it's like a real like light orange and it looks kind of grayish. Yeah, I'm not feeling that at all. So that's it for those pens. That's the afterglow, which I will not use in my Bible. These I will. I like the um the scented, the fruit scented gel ink. I like these in my Bible. And I like the highlighters for this. I do not like this for my Bible. Um, I think I'm gonna give this away because it's somebody can make good use of it, but I don't I don't like it. I don't like how it feels. I don't like how it writes. And um, and I don't like the that the color is not vibrant. So I, j I should share this with someone that may um, like it, have more of appreciation for it. Because it's just going to sit on my shelf. And that's, I don't want that. So I'll give that away tomorrow. One of my students might like this. They may even use this for coloring. You know, Um it depend yeah, because this is nice for coloring. Yeah, that would be kind of nice. Yeah, like them little stamp. Um, what is it? Um, the clear coloring stamped from Dollar Tree. You know, if somebody doesn't mind like the that the colors are light, they may use they could use this for that. That's an idea. All right, because the tip is so thin, right? It's 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 thin. You can get into like small um spots. Look at the um the tip of this pen. Yeah, so that's cool for that. But um, like I said, I won't be using it, so I gotta give it away. All right, oops, I'm moving this around. I'm sorry. So that's it. Um, yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching. God bless you, and remember, Jesus loves you. Bye bye.